everybody, welcome to AHA! Life in Japan! Today we are going to the Menya Norio in Namba, Osaka. Let's go! It is said that Japan is the biggest country in the world for vending machines. That's right, sometimes you even use them when you're eating ramen. It can be pretty confusing to know how to use these ticket vending machines when it's your first time. Don't worry, it was for me too. When Japanese people use these ticket vending machines, they can feel quite a bit of pressure when people start lining up behind them. I think that they are thinking, hmm, hurry up, why don't you buy that meal ticket already? Sometimes, we buy something other than ramen when we want to eat. Maybe we want a side dish, but nobody thinks about this, so feel free to use these vending machines however you want. Choose the ramen that you want and take your time. One point to keep in mind is that many of these ticket vending machines only accept cash. And Recent ticket vending machines are touch panel type, so they may accept credit cards. Using it, it's very simple. Number one, you need to pick out the ramen that you want. Number two, just put that money in the ticket machine. Number three, press the ramen button of the one you want to eat. If you don't know which button for the ramen that you want to eat, then go ahead and look at the number in that upper left corner picture for the ramen. The buttons on the ticket vending machine also have these numbers, so they're correlated with the numbers in the picture. It doesn't matter if you can't read the Japanese. Number four, if you are not choosing quick enough, you will be refunded. Don't worry, that's how the machine works. Put the money back into the ticket vending machine and press that button that you want. Number five, when you buy your meal ticket, be sure to hit that Otsuri button. Then you'll get your change back. Number six, when you're done, go ahead and take a seat. The waitress will tell you where to sit. And if there's no instructions from the staff, just go ahead and sit where you want. If you have no idea what to do, just ask the staff. The staff here are pretty friendly. When you take a seat, the waitress will come and pick up your meal ticket. If the waitress doesn't come over, give her your eye contact. They should be able to see that Nice look in your eyes. Then the waitress, she'll come over and you hand her your meal ticket. At that point, if you order a set meal or a combo, you go ahead and tell the waitress. Water is often self-service. Luckily for this ramen shop, it was already on the table, so that's nice. In some ramen shops, you may have to get up and go get it for yourself. So if you're not sure, ask the staff. Whoa, look at this behind the scenes ramen shop kitchen. Very cool. Look at all of those flavors. Wow. I can't imagine what kinds of different ramen you can have at this ramen restaurant. Ooh. Wow, are they using a blowtorch to grill this pork? And there go the noodles. Ho ho ho. Look at that. Is that rice? What is that? Ooh, fresh and hot ramen. <laughs> I thought he was going to throw those noodles on the floor. I see. Okay. Putting a little green onion. Oh, there's the pork. Oh, man. Freshly braised pork and that yummy ramen. What did he put in there? Some kind of vegetables and boiled eggs. <laughs> that doesn't look like ramen. That has no soup. Ah, okay. Different style with a what? Raw egg? What? Wait a sec. Get out of here. That can't be good. Is this how people do it in Japan? All right, back to the table. You can see that there are chopsticks on the side here. You just pick them up and use them. And you can use that Chinese soup spoon that's often nearby the chopsticks here. So, 
If you have a problem with chopsticks, go ahead and ask the staff for a fork. Now, when you're eating, make sure to use a large slurping noise. That's right. Mm -hmm. It's not good to make this noise when eating in a foreign country, perhaps, but it's really good to do it here. It's part of the culture. <laughs> well, this is our tokusei ramen. Look at this guy. He is really enjoying that. He's uh, putting a bunch of noodles right there in that spoon. It's like a combination of the spoon and using the chopsticks to put it to his mouth. Okay. And then a little bit of soup afterwards to make it go down. Oh, what's this? Is that? That's that pork they were blowtorching earlier. Okay. I think he's pointing out how thick it is and yummy. Oh, whoa. Let's see how he likes it. Oh, 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 that's the face of a satisfied salary man. Okay, moving on to the fried rice. Oh yeah, oh, there's that satisfied face again. You know, he's not gonna slow down. <laughs> now, Fried rice here in Japan is a common side dish that goes with the ramen. Oh, salary man number two, here we go. Wow, he, you know, I noticed they eat the noodles all in one slurp. That's probably why it's okay to make that slurping sound. Okay, okay. So, you got these yummy pot stickers and this fried chicken as well as side dishes. It's like your French fries for your cheeseburger here in Japan. Oh, got the pot sticker sauce, I see. Uh-oh, this must be the red danger. Okay, oh, just a little bit. Okay, okay, yeah, I think I know why. Yeah, maybe a little spiciness to his karage and gyoza. Now, karage is the fried chicken, he's grabbing the gyoza. The gyoza is the dumplings. Oh. Satisfied salary man number two. Okay, okay. <laughs> He's, you, know, you see, like in Italy, they use their hands when they talk. In Japan, in Japan, they use their fingers when they're talking about how yummy it is. Okay, get some fried chicken. Oh, look, he's using his fingers again. I told you. I told you. That's the way they show that the meal was a happy one. Okay, okay, so... Now, this is abura soba, and I figured out more information about it, and what they do is instead of the soup, they got this egg and some of the sauce and the oils, and then they mix it all together. Maze in Japanese means mix, and soba is the type of noodle. Abura is oil, so yeah, see? Oh, look at him go. All right, so he's mixing and he's a mixing. Oh, what not? Always time for a pizza, I see. Oh, boy. So... Lots of mixing here, guys. Don't want to not mix it unthoroughly. We got a thoroughly mixed aburisoba. The typical girl in the back taking a picture for her Instagram. You know, you know what I'm saying. She likes that. Oh yeah, satisfied face. So again, this aburisoba it's a little different than the ramen because you don't have the soup, but it is super popular. He's got two bowls. He's what is that guy doing with two bowls? You know his stomach's gonna hurt when he goes home. Oh man, have you ever eaten two bowls of ramen? You are gonna be having some pain and your mama is not gonna want you in the house because you're gonna be stinking it up. All right, did I say too much? Sorry about that, let's get back to it. So you can see that the staff there are walking around in the back. This is your typical ramen store. It's very long. They have uh, in Japan, not just wide shops. They use these skinny long shops with the bar counter and the table. If you're coming by yourself, that way you can sit at the bar counter. It doesn't feel like, oh, I'm all alone. But if you have a group, you're able to sit at the table and enjoy privacy with your friends. So this is one of the things that, you know, I personally like about Japan is the, the homey atmosphere. So what do you guys think? This is a uh, 
pretty yummy looking ramen. I bet you thinking to yourself, man, I gotta go to Japan. I gotta go get me some ramen. This ain't like cup noodle. All right, here is our store in looking back in hindsight and we just thank you guys for checking us out. See ya.